Hello students. People are always asking me what I eat. They want me to show them my delicious, healthy, and complex meals. But the truth is, I don't make very big meals at all. I eat plainly, as plainly as possible. Here is a typical snack that I would have. I'll take an apple and I'll cut it up and I'll eat that with a few dates, a few figs, a few Brazil nuts, slices of cucumber, slices of carrots. These are organic. That's why they're not so clean. I don't worry about scrubbing my carrots too much. I just wash them, rub them enough to get the main parts of the dirt out, and otherwise, I just eat them like that. I imagine that if a carrot came out of the ground back in the olden days, that that's how people ate. Sometimes the problem with our society is that we clean things too much. Now, of course, if you're having surgery, you need to have a sterile environment. But when it comes to all of our foods, sometimes it is possible to just go a little bit too crazy. And sometimes there's vitamins in the skin of things. So a good washing is good and you could scrub them, but peeling, uh, no, I don't usually peel things. Here are some walnut bits. Now, I could also have added to this plate some slices of tomato, which I have lying around, and a banana. So the idea is to get as much variety as you can out of your foods every single meal. Try to aim for 30 different veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in a day. Now remember, spices count too. But just every time you're making a plate like this, go back to the fridge or go back to the cupboard and say, okay, how much uh, more can I add to this? What other things can I add? Remember that the reason we're doing all of this is because we are vegan and milk is for baby cows. So we don't have cheese and we don't eat any products that come from animals. A cow's life. A cow's natural life expectancy is about 20 years, but cows used in the dairy industry are typically killed before their fifth birthday when they're deemed no longer profitable. Imagine being born and knowing right away that your death date has already been decided for you. Of course, they can't know, but we know, ethical vegans know, and we know it's wrong. Look at this. Look at this sweet, sweetheart here. Animals used in milk production are forced to endure dangerous and unsanitary conditions. A PETA investigator recorded shocking video footage of cows forced to live in their own corrosive bacteria-filled waste. And this isn't just a one-time occurrence. This happens all the time because it's a business and animals are treated like objects. Rather than getting to bond with their mothers, calves sold for veal are kept isolated, frightened, sick, and lonely, and then killed after only a few months, and sometimes just a few weeks. Here are some examples of products that you can try. Now, I've tried many of these already. There's chow cheese, there's earth balance, that's a kind of a butter or margarine replacer. You can see they have vegan sour cream, they have vegan pizza, vegan cheeses, vegan yogurt, vegan ice cream, different kinds of almond milk there, almond creamer for your coffee, almond breeze is a type of almond milk. And if you want to get some free vegan recipes, you can go to pita.com or at official pita2. Um, there's lots of ways. Just remember the address, PETA, and you'll find your way there. Because there's also sites that are called PETA Kids. And I've showed that before, where I've showed like the free stickers that you can get. For example, these ones. And that's at PETA too. So you can just write to them and they send you these. 
I just want to finish this article here. Cows scream for ice cream. What they mean is they're in pain. Many people don't realize that cows, like humans, have to be pregnant in order to produce milk. So the dairy industry uses what it calls rape racks to inseminate them artificially. Their newborn calves are almost immediately and traumatically torn away from them, either to be killed for veal or to follow in the, their footsteps and be used like milk machines. Female cows endure this ordeal of artificial insemination, pregnancy, and loss throughout their lives until they become exhausted and are no longer useful to the industry. Then they're killed for cheap meat. Imagine killing a mother and turning her into meat. Why don't farmers let the calves drink their mother's milk? Because they want to sell it to you. Even though humans are not physiologically adapted to drinking cow's milk, and most of the world's adult population has trouble digesting lactose, humans are the only species that engages in the unnatural practices of drinking milk from another species and drinking breast milk after infancy. It's crazy. Cows are often given antibiotics and hormones which end up in their milk, but they still get utter infections, so the milk can also contain pus. And milk is naturally high in cholesterol and fat, which don't do you any favors. Do yourself and cows a favor by switching to a delicious, healthy, non-dairy milk like soy milk, almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk, cashew milk, or oat milk. So thanks for listening, everybody. Thank you for being here. And thank you for thinking about the baby cows. And for your own health, choose healthy vegan foods, as much variety as you can and in its most natural form. Every single one of these foods is natural. They are not um, exposed to any kind of other things like cooking or products added or taken away. They're just natural. Not to say that there's something wrong with cooking foods, but the more natural, the better. If you have nuts without any added oil, without any added salt, that's good. And just have these kind of meals all the time. You'll feel so great. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for being vegan from now on. And thank you to all the moderators who help in my comment section. If you're looking for me on Instagram, I am that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. And Katie is spelled K-A-D-I-E. And if you are interested, I can also be found on Patreon. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers so much. And if you are interested in some merch, I also have a store. And you can find that online as well. That Vegan Teacher Store. That is from Teespring where I sell some t-shirts and other little items that I designed. Thank you so much for being here. See you in the next video. Do 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 do.